Hi, I tested two more pencil eyeliners. As some of you guys already know, I'm in a long search for a pencil eyeliner which is not smudging on my eyes. Uh, my first video was about one pencil eyeliner which was smudging badly and uh, there I figured out the reason for the smudging was my oily eyelids. And the second video was comparing three long-lasting eye pencils which all smudged on my eyes. <laughs> on that video, some people, some of you recommended me uh, some eyeliners. One of them was NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner and another one was Shiseido Micro Liner Ink. Another one which was recommended was Marc Jacobs Highliner, but that one I couldn't find anywhere here. <laughs> So I just um, ordered those two NARS and Shiseido ones and tried them. Unfortunately, none of them actually worked on my eyes. But I thought it might be a good idea to show you guys uh, my test procedure. And although they didn't work for me, I had a feeling they are quite good eyeliners. So, some of you might be interested in the test result. So, the first one was NAS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in shade Via Veneto. This is just the black one. This one you have to sharpen. Actually, I'm not sure how it should work. By the way, when I first got this eyeliner, I couldn't open the cap. <laughs> it stuck completely and whatever I did, it was just not coming off. So I was desperate and I googled and there I found one very helpful tip. Um, I wrapped around with a rubber band on the cap and also on the body and holded those part which is wrapped with rubber band and turned around first and I could then pull out. <laughs> so in case if this also happens to you. And the second one is Shiseido Microliner Ink in shade black. Actually, this is the first eyeliner which is black and actually named as black as well. <laughs> This is retractable, but you have to be very careful because you can turn it only in one direction. So you have to just turn it up only as much as you need, not more, because it can't be turned backwards. And this is very thin. If you compare it with NAS one, you can see how thin it is. Actually, Shiseido one has less than 10% amount of NAS one for just slightly cheaper price. So you have to keep it in mind <laughs> when you purchase it. So as always, I first did water test and they are again waterproof. <laughs> So it was like that till now when the brand is telling this is waterproof. It was really waterproof every time. Then I did oil test. Unfortunately, I don't have this Bobby Brown one from my last video, which was winner. But I still had this um, Estee Lauder stay in place eye pencil because I wanted to uh, send this back, but they said just keep it, we will just refund you. Some shops do that. So 
I still have it. I wanted to give it to someone, but somehow I didn't have any chance to now. Although this was one of the two which was um, not really oil resistant, which actually contained oil itself. But I thought then I will have at least some reference that you guys can compare. I will first to show you the oil test of my last video. The first one was Bobby Brown one. And second one was Mac. And third one was this Estee Lauder one, which I have now. So there Bobby Brown was the clear winner. And this time, first I applied NAS, then Shiseido. Shiseido one I had applied twice because that was not as dark as NAS. Then this Estee Lauder one for reference. Uh, here you can see the both NAS and Shiseido are better than Estee Lauder one in any case. But Shiseido is a little bit better than NAS. Then I tried these two on my eyes. I applied on the left side NAS one and the right side Shiseido one. And for that test, I didn't apply any eye serum or cream to get those out of the way as a reason for the smudge. So I actually don't remember when I didn't apply eye cream on my eyes last time. So I was a little bit scared, but I thought, okay, just uh, for one day and just to test for you guys. I just tried it without eye cream. So first on the left side, NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. As always, I apply just between my lashes. I didn't apply any darker shadow directly above my lash line, which I actually normally do because sometimes those darker shadows are smudging down as well. And on my lower lash line, I also didn't apply any eyeliner or eyeshadow. And on the right side, I applied the Shiseido Microliner. Just from the first lash to the last lash. I also didn't apply mascara on that day. And after one hour or so, I realized my right eye smudged a lot. And that was Shiseido one, which was better uh, with my oil test. <laughs> so I was totally confused. And after three hours, they both smudged it somehow. But my left eye, well, Nas was, was smudged much less. So I was slowly coming to the conclusion the NARS one is better. So next day I tried NARS on both sides. And what happened was that time, again, the right side was smudging more than left side and I was wearing same highliner on both eyes. So finally I realized my right eye smudges faster than my left eye. So, of course, I tested once more. This time I exchanged uh, the eyeliners I applied 
NAS on the right side and Shiseido on the left side, again without eye cream. And as I thought, right side smudged more. <laughs> so somehow I was quite um, disappointed this comparing my two eyes. Uh, quite useless in this case. Because those two eyeliners are quite similar in quality. So the only difference which I made was just difference of my eyes. Although I still can't really explain why <laughs> my right eye smudges faster than left eye, but they obviously have different shapes. So maybe it's just natural. And the next day then I tried only Shiseido one on both eyes and it also smudged similar to the NARS one. Unfortunately, I can't really compare this directly with Bobby Brown one, which was our last winner. But I have the feeling these two are as good as Bobby Brown one at that time. Which means these two eyeliners might work together with eye primer. None of them contains oil because I learned from my last video, if one eyeliner contains oil, then it is definitely smudging very fast on my eyes. So my search will go on. <laughs> Although I'm quite disappointed that none of them worked on my eyes. It was quite fun process that I was testing those. Uh, most of all that I could interact with you guys and you guys give me recommendation and I test and these two are in any case very good quality eyeliners although they didn't work for my strange eyes <laughs> so I really encourage you guys if you have any recommendation just uh, write in the comment uh, those eyeliners if they smudge I can return to the shop so I can actually test more. So I say thank you for those of you who recommended me those eyeliners. I really appreciate it. And I know there are many of you who are waiting for me to find finally a pencil eyeliner which is not smudging on my eyes, who has same problem as me. So I will search further. So thanks a lot for joining me today. Uh, my next video will be about my beauty favorite of 2021. I thought uh, that might be a good idea wrapping up the year. So please stay tuned. I will see you in that video then. Bye.